Chairman is with us now, Mr. Attorney General. Good morning to you. Good morning. Why don't we start right there? Did you file this lawsuit at the behest of President Obama or to curry favor with President Obama? No, I saw the president uh, in Syracuse. We spoke for a little bit. We have much more important things to talk about than Donald Trump. And the reason that the suit was filed on a Saturday was that Trump's lawyers uh, requested that we wait till after midnight on Friday because there was a tolling agreement on the statute of limitations. So he, once again, as with all of the facts relating to Trump University, which he continues to avoid by making personal attacks, um, Mr. Trump's statements are false. How many complaints did your office receive about Trump University or the Trump Entrepreneur Institute, as it was later called? Well, we've received dozens of complaints, and they're still coming in. Uh, now that we filed the suit, we're getting more complaints from other parts of the country. Mostly we had complaints from New Yorkers, because I represent the people of the state of New York. But um, as, as the person you had on earlier, Sema, indicated, a lot of folks think maybe it's their fault they didn't get anything, and now they're realizing that everyone recognized they got scammed, and, and more people are coming forward. Well, let me ask you about that, because at what point does it become fraud and not something that maybe is a little bit sleazy, but maybe it's also uh, the student's buyer beware situation? Well, the law on this is very clear. The, uh, you can't make false representations. You can't tell people you're selling them a car that gets 50 miles a gallon if it gets 10 miles a gallon. Donald Trump's university was phony. First of all, the name was phony. It never registered as a university. They, they were being chased around by the New York State Department of Education. They kept lying to them and defrauding them. Um, Trump said he was going to teach you the, his secrets of real estate through his hand-picked experts. These people were the president of Trump, you, has testified. He, Trump did not pick one of the instructors, and these guys were no, not experts. Some of them had just come out of bankruptcy. Some of them were just motivational speakers, and there were no real estate secrets involved. I think it's I important to realize, though, because on one hand, you're saying Trump is very involved in the sense of personally approving the advertising and the marketing, but at the same time, you're also saying, and there seems to be a little bit of a conflict there, that he was very hands-off, that he promised his expertise, but essentially outsourced it to a third party. No, it's very interesting because the president, the former president of Trump, you who has testified under oath that uh, Trump was very interested in the promotional materials. He was the chief pitchman. He was very involved in luring in students with using his celebrity status. But he was not involved in writing the curriculum. He was not involved in the teaching. The students thought they were going to get to meet Mr. Trump. What they ended up was getting a chance to have their picture taken next to a life-size poster of Trump. Uh, to make it look as though they had met him. There was an allegation by Mr. Trump that he had, you had sought campaign contributions from him and that he, you, he, you spurned or you were spurned by him and that's the reason that you filed the lawsuit. I, Trump is, uh, look, this is very common. Prosecutors are used to people making wild accusations. He still has yet to, do, to address any of the merits of the claims that we've sent in. We've got testimony by his former president. We've got their playbook instructing the teachers how to constantly be doing a bait and switch. Tell the students you need to get the more expensive product. You need to go to the next level. He, they also, probably the most despicable things, and this is documented, told students to raise their credit limits. Call up your credit card companies, get more credit, and then use th that extra credit to buy more Trump programs. There are people who had to move out of their homes. There are people who went heavily into debt for this. This is just uh, disgraceful conduct. Any attorney general would be pursuing this, and uh, Mr. Trump is uh, needless to say, we're not really ideologically on the same page, so uh, he's not the kind of person who would provide a lot of support to someone like me. I'm out of time, but is this going to be a difficult case to prove? No, I think the documents we've submitted so far probably entitle us to a judgment. I think he's going to want to fight it out in the press, and uh, he's a guy who doesn't seem to understand the concept of a bad headline. All right, New York Attorney General Eric Schneiderman, thank you very much. Appreciate it. And now we'll get a check of the weather.